Hello from MindPad. TOK essay. These are a few of the sample knowledge questions and excerpts of the discussion with resources. Please see the pages on the mindpads.org website for complete discussion and links to the resources. Or write to us at mindpads.org at gmail.com for support and preparing and writing your essays and presentations. TOK essay topic number 8. Should key events in the historical development of areas of knowledge always be judged by the standards of their time? KQ1. Why do we need to judge the historical events by standards of their time? Cultural perspective helps us understand why certain events and actions were considered in that particular way. This relativism has enabled the modern society to have an objective peek to the historical past and develop a perspective that is important to understanding and knowing the underpinnings of history, politics, and psychology of historical events. Humans describing other humans risk imposing their own ideas and sensibilities on others, considering that people in the past lived in the culture somewhat different than the present ones. Describing the concepts in the context of their own time might be inaccurate. It may almost be describing ourselves in different circumstances. Real life situation. For example, cannibalism has been set to test the bounds of cultural relativism as it challenges anthropologists to define what is or what is not beyond the pale of acceptable human behavior. But cannibalism has been occasionally practiced as a last resort by people suffering from famine, including in modern times. Famous examples included the, the ill-fated westward expedition of the Donner Party, and more recently the crash of Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571, after which some survivors ate the bodies of dead passengers. Read more at mindpads.org KQ2 to what extent is it possible to know and understand the historical events to form judgments? Within the ambit of philosophy of history about knowing and describing the past, the emphasis, the wordings and the perspective are decisive in determining and answering. Can we know the past? What kind of things can we know and what kind of things are beyond knowledge? How can we tell the difference between accurate descriptions of the past and the inaccurate descriptions? What distinguishes a justified interpretation from a speculation or invention? How do we know we say happen really happen? There is a gap between the information available and what needs to be known. The information and evidence from textual and material remains are not enough to reveal the underlying reason, intuition or the emotion and claims to know about historical events and their developments raise serious questions about accuracy. These are a few of the sample knowledge questions and excerpts of the discussion with resources. Please see the pages on the mindpads.org website for complete discussion and links to the resources. Or write to us at mindpads.org at gmail.com for support in preparing and writing your essays and presentations. KQ3 What is the role of language in making judgments about historical events? Real life situation. For example, the historian's cultural preconceptions is more of an issue of interpretation, an issue of categorizing and conceptualizing. Religious for us means relating to faith, authority, spirituality and belief, while the same concept of religion may be radically different at the time the evidence was written. Use a word fortification has a different meaning than using, a, using building a wall or a mound. The difference in use of language in evidence and the language in the historiographic des descriptions has its implications on what we now perceive and understand. For example, the motives and strategy of the historical battles are susceptible to the interpretation of the historian. The choice of words begins the interpretative process. For example, using troops may suggest a clear fighting intent, while using a group of men may lose some of the precious information about the intention. The way of thinking in our own times will bear upon how we think about the historical times. KQ number 4 Is it possible to make ethical judgments about historical events using the standards of their time? The opponents of relativism, on the contrary, consider the blame and responsibility of historical events and actions pivotal for making amends for historical moral mistakes and prevent its occurrence in future. 
Relativism cannot overcome the reason, nor can it override the sense of morality that is basic and inherent to humanity, and that makes some fundamental absolutes of right and wrong, regardless of the opinions of any given society. Even when there are disagreements among different times and cultures, there are concepts more universal, more fundamental than standards of the time. For example, for years in the Australian government refused an apology to its indigenous peoples, in particular for the practice of forcibly removing children from their families. It seems utterly shocking now, but it was only in 2008 that the Prime Minister Kevin Rudd finally made the formal apology on behalf of the state. So arguably the current state might be blameless, yet somehow responsible. Our response to the issue of homosexuality has so rapidly evolved and changed within a generation that it may well be very probable that we may look back at views once held and feel horrified and ashamed. And it is all the more evitable for our future generations will detect, identify and judge our flaws as we did the same for historical past events and societies. For the complete discussions of these TOK essay topics, do visit us at mindpads.org or write to us at mindpads.org at gmail.com.